of us. Hi there. <laughs> I am Lindsay Schoolcraft, and this is Richard Shaw from Cradle of Filth. Yes. And uh, we are currently doing the Cryptoriana Part Two. Yeah, Part Two of our North American tour. 2019. So we're about three weeks in at the moment, and this is where we've been living. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So first of all, we have a TV, a Panasonic, but other TV. Uh, supplies are available. Um, so we don't really use it that much. We've just been hooking up laptops with some shows that we've been watching on Netflix and stuff every now and again. But the actual like TV signal is, is pretty sketchy from city to city. So we just tend to watch like Netflix on here. But we've had like um, some games consoles on there as well. I'm like, playing a bit of Mario Kart every now and again. But we've been watching uh, because we're a British band. Apart from you and two of our checkmates but we're essentially a British band but we're very much into Alan Partridge and there's been a new show um, a new series of Alan Partridge just He's showing him in the UK old man crush. yeah old man crush yeah Alan Partridge <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah very very quintessential British humor um, and we dig it we, so that's just come on we're hoping to watch the dirt pretty soon uh, we've got a whole bunch of stuff downloaded from Netflix so uh, yeah this is our kitchen. It's really, really tiny. Um, this is used and abused. Needs CLR really badly. We are coffee people, but in the evening we are tea people. And this is a very thick old kettle. So we don't get all the comforts of home. We have a really, I don't know, he's an interesting kettle. He's got a temper. Um, then you'll see we keep, we, we are a ginger band. We, we cut it up and put it in our hot water at night to help with our immune systems and our voices with us singers. Uh, this stuff here is Danny's favorite. Uh, Rivina. It is from England, yeah, and you dilute it. It's actually like super concentrated, something that like I don't know would ever happen in America, but you have to add water to it. Don't drink it straight, you'll hurt yourself. This is Danny's favorite thing. We have to get it imported and he always has to have some on hand. Um, and then we have a toaster that's pretty okay. It's pretty okay. So yeah, so up here, cereals and bread. This, this tour we've dubbed Carb Fest 2019 because it's just been carb packed. And then there's a mash drawer, which has been labeled mash. Mash means tea, by the way. And we've got all the lovely tea and coffee supplies. And that's how we do. That's how we keep awake and functional. Up here we have a day sheets. Now the day sheets basically tell us what's going on from day to day, like Wi-Fi passwords, the most important thing. In the Always. Um, and then what time we're loading in, what time the support bands are loading in, what time of sound checking. We do meet and greets on this tour, so how many people are a meet and greet, what time that's going to be. look at this, I've never seen this before. This is the first time. Oh uh, yeah. We've got a massive food schedule. You can tell that, <laughs> You can tell we're at a house of blues because we actually get a menu and usually sometimes we'll have a buyout for instance we'll get some money from um, at like a catering budget where we'll go out to a restaurant but uh, house of blues are great they've got their own in-house things so we've actually got a, our own menus here for everybody we've got meat eaters vegetarians uh, vegans so we cater to everybody on this tour so yeah and so that gives us all the information um, so we know what we're doing including yeah. this weird little thing it says press schedule there's a digital tour bus what is that? Who's that? I don't know. Who's that? Well, whatever, but we've got whatever. that at 5 p.m. That's happening. So, yeah, that's all that stuff that tells us what we do on a daily basis. This is the biggest fridge we have ever had, like ever. Um, it's got two freezers. Um, nothing special going on in there, but this is interesting down here. So this is a, by the way, it beeps at you if you don't close it like properly, it starts yelling at you. This is our fridge. What I love about this fridge is we have a vegan section, which is just pretty much fruits and vegetables. Someone put the cheese, they're in trouble. Um, but this is like the vegan section of the fridge is actually the biggest part. And it's kind of me and one of the crew members faults. And we have a vegetarian, so they're kind of to blame. But yeah, we've got so much hummus. Like I could just drown. I could kill myself drowning myself in hummus right now. Still not sick of it, but it's always, in, in heavy supply. Yeah, and then tons of soy milk. I don't even think, Rich, have we even had any milk of the cow on this tour? I think it's no, just been- no milk of the cow, but yeah. milk of the soy. Yeah, the cradle filth is now moving away from dairy. I'm very proud of the boys, so. Just soy milk this entire tour, and I have to shut it or else it starts yelling at me, so. And what else is there, like, absolutely has to be in the, well, like, the beer. The, the fancy schmancy hipster beer yeah, that couple, Google and A couple of guys in the van want some beers, but usually it's just waters water. and teas and coffee. Tea. It's just, we keep it relatively simple, to be fair. I've simple. heard of some pretty outrageous like things on a rider, but we're pretty simple as long as we've got a lot of fluids and uh, uh, fluids. Just all, <laughs> the, all the fluids. Bathroom. Yeah, 12 people, one bathroom is always interesting. <laughs> that sounds like a really weird film, Linz. <laughs> I don't know what kind of shit you've been watching, but you know. Just anime. <laughs> this is our little cupboard of more things, um, all the dried goods. Carb Fest. 
cop vest again. Always. Uh, and then his bathroom for here. Beautiful little bathroom. You can watch yourself pee. It's great. It's fantastic. It is what it is. It works, and that's all I care about. That. This is a bunk area. This is where we sleep. This is where the coffins are harvested. Um, which one you're in the but we're all in the back bands in the back. Two in the back. Front. Um, so this is the crew. And then we've got a shower that we don't actually use. Uh, funny story, poor Martin, our drummer, went to use it the other night and he was halfway through, lathered up, and the water ran out. Poor Martin. <laughs> but yeah, we just kind of store stuff in there. Oh, you wanted to talk about these. Well, weirdly enough, we have some bowls in the shower. Yeah. And I have no idea why we have bowls in the shower, but they, they must be well washed, well used. Um, I think this is like, I like clean bowls in the shower, but this is... Plastic. I don't know how this ended up here, but anyways. Uh, this was a gift from Des, our manager, during rehearsals. <laughs> and for some reason we kept the balls. But there is a guitar in there for when we're writing oh. on the road. We're writing the next album while we're on the road, so I'll I'll practice a lot during the day, and any ideas, we'll quickly record them. So it's, it's a good place to keep everything, really. And yes. there's a li little rubber ducky. Yeah, he's been there the whole time. I don't know. I think he's glued on. I don't yeah. think he's moving. Yeah, and you're standing in the toilet. I'm standing two. in the toilet. This is my favorite toilet. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> so, similar kind of thing, but the closest one to my bunk, so I'm yeah, happy. Yeah, that's the emergency pee yeah. in the middle of the night. So, and then the bunk, the band bunks. So, this is my bunk up here, which is really boring. This is the only bit of privacy we get. Yep. Yeah, anyone who's seen Bus Invaders before will surely know this is a curtain that separates your privacy from everybody else. Uh, so, <laughs> it's really, really boring, just an unmade bed. Um, or I usually keep my bags and some spare clothes for the day like in the corner, but they're up in the dressing room at the moment. Always keep a bottle of water just in case. That's where the bottle of uh, water keep falling from. That's where they keep falling from. When they yeah. get a bit of turbulence in the, in the night, that's where they come from and wake you up. bottles so. of water on the floor every morning and now I know why. And I try and find them in the morning and when I need a drink I and I can't find them. Because you There's your moving. one from yesterday. Oh, oh, <laughs> yes! <laughs> That could go back in there. <laughs> right. Now we know, we solved a okay, mystery. Okay, so what about your So bunk? I sleep on the floor because I'm someone who rolls out of bed. As you saw this morning, I literally like, had my limbs hanging out when I woke up. Mm -hmm. um, had a hard time doing the day. Those are slippers from my partner. They're really gross now. Never get white slippers on the road. Your partner wears those slippers? Well, he gave them to me. He would, oh, but right. you know, big feet. So anyways, um, this is my bunk. So. I just kind of, this is my favorite sweater ever, $2 at like a little kid store, holla, it's great to be small. I keep my pajamas in there and at the end here, I've got, I got a coloring book, I got an adult coloring book, this is how I wind down at the end of the day. Um, it's cool, it's mermaids and shells and it's all right. And then uh, I always have like an extra blanket, this is one of those scarves that is like way too big. So it doubles as a blanket. It gets cold. I, I don't retain heat to save my life. Um, Ziploc bags for everything. For every occasion. Everything. Always carry baby wipes, Ziploc bags, because like just liquids exploding everywhere and things needing to be contained. Um, yeah, I think the baby wipes are back there too. And hair ties. We always need hair ties, right Rich? Always need hair ties. And then my my pharmacy, as you call it, my vitamins and supplements gotta start the day right. So yeah, and some gloves and my toque. Oh my god, I just said the most Canadian thing ever. You're so Canadian. I know, my toque, because uh, the weather's been fluctuating lately. We're gonna go down to the south soon, but you never know when you need your mitts and scarf and toque. So yeah, that's it. I just hang out in here at night, uh, chill out to music before I fall asleep. Well, we're very fortunate to have Wi-Fi on the bus, so I'll just like catch up with family at the end of the day. And uh, yeah, it's, it's I'm getting used to it. But these mattresses are very worn in, so I feel like cocooned. Like I can't I can't move anywhere from the middle. We fall back into the middle. It's like that really bad futon. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. And then the, show you the back here. Yeah. Okay. I feel like I should be saying welcome to the boudoir. You know, I was about to. <laughs> But, but, Easy killer. But yeah, but um, a little bit of a tiny back lounge. Sometimes we've had some bigger ones, but we've been very lucky to have two bathrooms on this one, especially because we've got the band and the crew on this tour. Um, so it was phone in the back that has never been used. Some extra storage, which might have been used, but uh, oh, no, yeah. this seems to be where uh, Danny Filth, our Lord and Savior, uh, 
This seems to hang out most this of the time. Danny's extra room. Yeah, this seems to be his yeah. area. We tend to hang out in the front lounge watching Netflix and playing video games and stuff, but yeah. there's a little bit of fan art here. Yeah, beautiful fan art. Yeah. We got some extra headdresses up there. We got the roses that we hand out. We hand out one a night on stage, so that's the rose surplus. <laughs> Plastic roses. Plastic so roses. The real ones would be dead by now, so. Yeah, we don't want to do that, but yeah, it's uh, it's all right. I can't say I ever really come back here either than to retrieve my things at the end of the day. <laughs> we are currently on tour for Cryptoriana, our last album that's been released, and um, we are doing a giant world tour this year, so go to cradlefilth.com slash tour. You can see all our tour dates and purchase tickets there, and we hope to see you all very soon. But for now, uh, you have to leave. Yes. we got to get ready for meet and greet and we the do. show. So go on, get out, get out.